Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly um, collective tarot reading session for you Aries. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. Um, this reading for today, it is for the Aries sign. Aries, Happy New Year to you. Thank you for... Um, Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Thanks for dropping by. If you would like to further connect my connect with me, Aries, I invite you to click the bell, click subscribe. And also, if you would like to get notification about bonus reading, new moon, full moon, and um, our new merchandise for 2022, I invite you to yeah go to the website and subscribe in our mailing list. All right? So let's see what's coming towards you, Aries. This is a weekly reading for you. Let's see what's coming towards Aries, please. There is a new moon in Capricorn in the next 24 hours. Um, so please don't forget to check out the how this new moon is going to you know, influence your sign. If you're interested, it's in the website. Okay, so let's start to reading. Let's look at love, career, finance, and incoming opportunity for you. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. This is for Aries. Let's look at your focus. Let's look at the situation in the past. Let's look at the current energies, incoming person, energy, communication, what's coming towards you. I'm not reading reversals. Hidden energy. And then predictive outcome and advice. And depending on the message for today, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading. Okay, that's good. Okay. So let's look at your focus and your situation in the past. I feel like there was a missed opportunity. This is really straightforward. You have this offer from last year and it was a missed opportunity. Okay? Yeah, two of pentacles. Um, there was an offer. It could be a person or an actual offer of money. Uh, but there was, I feel like there was an indecision making in here and then one of you give up or you gave up because you don't want to compete you felt like this ace of pentacles it should be exclusively yours so for some of you you don't want to wait you don't want to compete because you felt like i should have it so i shouldn't compete so I'm, I'm really getting like um it could be a person it could be an offer but the situation is you kind of challenge them that if it's not given to you then you don't want to you don't want to wait something like that so there is some sort of you don't want to compete yeah i'm getting a very strong i don't want to compete i should have that by default it should just me be sorry by default it should just be me and that's fine most especially if you know your skills if you know what you can give if you know if this is a love reading there should not be a competition if this is a dating it should just be exclusive so whatever you put in there you challenge them you deserve it. You, you, you fought for what you believe is fair and justice for you, and you have a valid point. A high priestess, yes. Um, so for some of you Aries, you're really manifesting that they would understand why you said that or you acted on that, or um, something tells me that when you missed the opportunity, you're kind of manifesting that. When you were out of the situation, you're manifesting that they would realize your import, important, your role. Or if this is a love reading, they would realize what they've lost. An amazing Aries, you know, high priestess. I feel like, mm, you know, I really feel like you still want it. It's, it's, it's still appearing in your reading. You still want the person or the situation. However, you would like it to be improved. You know, something tells me that you're willing to compromise or meet halfway, but you want something change in, in, in this offer or person or situation specifically. Um, you've got the prince of princess of wands. Whatever you want, they can really, um, you can be guaranteed or you can be assured that they could work on what you want. But the thing in like if you demand this, like there's something that you would like this person or offer or situation to do. And they are willing, you know, to give that to you to work with you, Aries. Okay, they're not saying no. They're not saying no. 
with your requests, with what you want. They're actually okay and understand what you are requesting or whatever it is that you're arguing or your point. However, they're also asking something back from you, you know, the tiger, you know. So there is a negotiation that will happen in the immediate future. Um, I feel like you're manifesting this offer. Your manifestation, your manifestation is on track. You will get some sort of update. You will get a chance to negotiate again with this person, situation, or offer. Okay? Very strong negotiation. Like, if you're open-minded, you could really reach a compromise with this person. And I feel like it is a win-win situation for all of you. Like a happy ending. If you're open-minded, you know. Um... Like if you look into, it could be career or professional or relationship, but if you're open-minded, you can really have a happy ending with this person. Like win-win situation, both of you. So be open-minded. But be open-minded. Like you've been, you, 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 you still want this, and you're still manifesting this. Something tells me that you still haven't let go of this. Um, you feel like you should belong in there, or they should be with you part of your energy in here i should be there i should be that one i should be in there you should be with me and you're correct you know so it's coming back to you with a negotiation all right um in the current energy queen of cups i feel like love is coming your way you know um i feel like you probably um spend a lot of time with family and friends or maybe special someone and I feel like for some of you guys, you you gave it all. Because Queen of Cups, this is unconditional love. This is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I feel like there's something that you overgive. And during the, the month of December, Queen of Cups, Ten of Swords, you felt, you felt tired about your role in a situation where you overgive or you have given them the maximum energy or money or support or something that you gave it all in ten of swords you felt like you're so tired and you never gave or something tells me that you you haven't gotten you know they never said thank you to you they never replied they never appreciated what whatever you did whatever you gave out towards a person a situation it could be family could be friend but there is something lingering around you right now where you're quite um i gave it all and this is on this is the only thing i got back so maybe it's a gift or something tells me that you're not being appreciated or it, you're not being equally reciprocated from something that you gave out i'm ace of wands don't be too rush or too quick to conclude because you will get a return of investment and it is the ace of wands okay you will get something out of this that you did not expect would still come it is like a delayed a delayed thank you or it's like a delayed appreciation but the appreciation it's really big okay the reason why there is a delay respond Res respond reply or maybe gift giving for some of you it's because it's so difficult to match what they will give you like it's so difficult to reward or to to buy you a gift something extraordinary they're looking for something special they're, they're looking for something special extraordinary to match you what you gave out okay so ace of wands there's some there's an offer coming your way an energy, a situation, a message. It could be an actual gift in return to match the Queen of Cups. Okay? So I feel like it's happening right now. Now, in the immediate future, judgment card will result. The Ace of Cups. Ooh, King of Wands. This is three different kind of energy areas. Let's clarify that. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So for some of you, there is a result with regards to money relating to work, job, or business. Something professional, a professional fee, 
something tells me that you've been working on something from last year and there is now an actual measurable result where you're going to get the increase, you're going to get the contract, you're going to get something out of what you've been working on since last year. And uh, Jupiter, in, Jupiter is in Pisces right now, but I think around, if it's not March or April, maybe May, but Jupiter will be in Aries very soon. So there's a lot of expansion coming your way. So I feel like this is pretty much at the end of January 2022 where you will get the actual pay or reward. And it's lucky. Could buy, you can finally buy a house or I don't know, a house close to your family. But like a back-to-back -back offer is here for you, Aries. Really good because you've got the judgment card. Finally, there's going to be a result and then... I don't know, I really feel like there is an ending and then there is a new offer and another counter offer. So like, you know, really, really back to back offer. Yeah, exactly. There is a one offer to another offer. Like you haven't really moved on celebrating this fortune, this luck, and then another one will come along. And I feel like it's, it's like hitting the jackpot. You know, because for some of you, okay, I've got this and I've got a new love, you know, for some of you. And this new love, it's a it's a king of wands. It can manage you. It match your energy. It is same age of you, same maturity, same passion. So for some of you who, because I feel like this is romantic. So first, you've got back-to-back -back offer. So for some of you, I'm really getting like new love is coming your way end of January 2021. Not just that, but it's also connected to work or business. So potentially business partner or it could be a customer, but it's a back-to-back -back offer. I'm getting like hop in for this offer and then hop out, hop in again. So, you know, like you need a breather because it's a it's a, it's a back-to-back -back offer from, okay, you got new job, new business, new career upgrade and then for some reason after two three days you've got this interesting per interesting person lurking around or wandering eyes towards you okay so if your love life it's been quiet and you've been really really craving for something new where here is it uh, a new thing in in the block <laughs> you are the new kid on the block i feel like you are the new kid in the block and all eyes on you so make sure that you dress well or speak really the Aries, you know, energy there because you're going to be attracting or mag magnet, you know, of of people around you if you're going to get a job or something at the end of January 18th to end of the month that will get you into this like, wow, you know, can I, I can't ask for more, you know, it's like hit the jackpot one to another and to another. Okay, yeah. That's the feeling. So, breathe. Okay? So, Aries, this is your reading. It is wonderful for you to be here. It is amazing reading, guys. Thank you. I will see you soon and have a fantastic week. Bye-bye.